Hello, it's been Shadows, and we're doing another Miguelix listener. This is a jealous Miguel, like a sunshine spidey reader, crushing on Noah. I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong. I'm literally horrible with names. Uh, but yeah, links might be in the description. Uh, you already know what the frick, frick. It's too early in the video to spare. Has been happening. Uh, yeah, but I love the jealousy trope. I love it so much. I know it's basic. I know it's so basic biatch can't say can't swear it's too early in the video but i love the jealousy trope i don't care what no one says yeah let's get started <laughs> miguel hated to see you pine after noir or peter he hated when you would he would see you giggle around him or when you would smile so prettily at peter he felt like throwing up the way you tucked your braids behind your ears and smirked at noir he felt himself clench his fists in anger and his heart sinking into the deepest, darkest pits of his stomach. His stomach churned to the idea of seeing you be up and close with and personal with him. God, he hated it. He hated to see you be so happy around Noir. He wanted you to act that way you did with Noir, but with him. During a meeting he held by Miguel, everyone was pre present, including you, Gwen, Miles, Pav, Hobie, Margot, Jessica, Peter B, and Noir himself. He stole a couple of glances from you as he saw the way you'd wink at Noir or Noir would smirk at your playful banter. He wanted to destroy everything right there, right now. Seeing how flirtatious you were with another man, he wanted it to be him, not Noir. Everyone, we must capture this anomaly. You interrupted him with your loud giggles as Noir just told you a funny joke. Miguel gave a cold glare, death glare to Noir for making you interrupt him during his meeting. Of course he didn't blame you. No, he was going to blame Noir to make him look bad under the eyes of everyone in the room. God, he hated Noir. He hated the way he could make you laugh so cutely and he wished that it was him to make you laugh. You giggled. Your giggles immediately stopped and was changed to a more serious demeanor. He gave Miguel an apologetic smile and looked down to the floor. Care to explain why we're making stupid jokes here? His voice laced with venom. Noir was taken aback as he brought his face, brought his hat, sorry, he brought down his fedora hat and clutched it tightly against his chest. I apologize for being an interruption. Carry on. He leaned forward a bit as he nodded with an apology with his head. Miguel rolled his eyes practically to the back of his skull and, ign <laughs> and ignored Noir for the rest of the meeting. He went back to whatever the hell he was saying and informing everyone about an anomaly that had apparently gone rampant and was threatening the fabric of the multiverse. You felt that Miguel had put Noir on the spot and you always felt indifferent around Miguel, but you were always curious about him as well. He was very, very mysterious and so closed off. Something that you had found made you attracted to finding out more about him and his life. You never made a move or had the courage to talk to him because he seemed to be a very difficult and harsh person to talk to and let's be honest, you weren't wrong. For some odd reason, you gave in to your temptations as you started to pay attention to Miguel more often. He listened intently to Miguel from the way he spoke to the way his muscles flexed with every movement he made, and the way that his words held so much power with them. You didn't know why, but you found yourself staring at Miguel, but he did often, often have his eye on you. You just didn't know that. Miguel continued his presentation to everyone in the room as he felt your gaze linger on him. He looked at you from the corner of his eyes, noticing how you were looking at him and he pretended that he didn't notice but let's be honest his heart fluttered in his chest while trying to keep his serious demeanor from breaking while he had other things on the mind as time went by he felt the way that you were f went from flirting with noir to having your full and undivided attention on him he felt bold now that he had gotten you this time around when you stared you noticed he was already looking at you he didn't break eye contact with you and you felt your cheeks start to heat up. He caught you staring and that's what you thought, but no, he already knew that you were staring. He always seemed to know. 
As the sweet bubbly person that you were, you reluctantly smiled at him, and he smiled back when nobody was looking. His smile was so captivating in a way. The way that he smiled big enough for you to see his sharp fangs slightly grazing the bottom of his lip. You didn't know how to feel, but one thing you were sure was that you were very, very attracted to him and that smile of his. He did feel slightly nervous as Miguel kept looking at you, holding the eye contact and never breaking it. Every once in a while, throughout the meeting, the tension between you became palatable, but nobody tapped onto it, but Noir from afar. Noir knew that Miguel had gotten your attention now and he could feel his blood boil in his chest. You now have two men pining for you, but who would win your heart first? 